Well, Dean, we got a good one for us today. Yes, we do. Who do we got today? This wonderful young lady is um, a friend of mine, a sister of mine, and she has been a background singer for everybody in the industry. I had the awesome opportunity to be with her as a guest when she was doing some supporting background vocals for the Uncle Charlie Wilson. Wow, really? Yes, and I had a chance to meet him through this um, young lady as well. Uncle Charlie? Uncle Charlie, yes. He took mm. me, I went backstage with her, and Uncle Charlie was right there, and mm. I was a deer in headlights. And show, show me how you look. I was. <gasps> really? Yes. Uh-huh. And um, we've been friends for years, and I'm so honored to have her on the Wake Up Morning Show with Dr. LT and Robert O'Dean. And this is none other than? This is Dodie Alexander. We call her just Dodie for short. You know, you know you're bad when you just got one name. This is Dodie from Detroit, Michigan. What's up, Dodie? Uh-oh, wait a minute. She, she on mute. Let's get you off mute, darling. There we the, go. There you go. <laughs> What's up, my sister? What's up, everybody? Look, I'm new at this. I'm new. It's okay. <laughs> we, 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 we got you. This, this show, we, we got you. We family over here. Well, I, I, I wanted to start off, first of all, say uh, good morning and thank you for coming on to our show. You know, uh, I want to say that, you know, I really want that microphone in the back of you uh, 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 for my for my Christmas gift. Praise <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> you know, go, 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 on, sit, go on, send that $5,000 mic on down here. <laughs> Tell you, know, Jesus is the gift. Jesus is the gift uh, and the reason for the know, season. They say we have not because we ask not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she she like he he all looking up in my my house and seeing <laughs> seeing my studio stuff, and I'm like sitting up there like you, you know how people be coming up to your house and you be like say there's certain people that can't come to my house they be, they, looking, they be and looking for what they can ask through for. the drawers and, <laughs> and all going to the bathroom looking through the medicine cabinet and all that good stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so so Miss Songstress. Yes. Uh, yes tell us what is going on in your life because you look fabulous this morning. Early in the morning. Thank you. Yeah. See, I'm on, I'm, 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 on, I'm on later time, so I was able to get up and, and throw a little ma makeup on, and throw a few curls in my head. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 normally when we call, when people are are the time frame ahead of us, right. they don't already have breakfast. But we had one well, time I, where where one of our sisters came on and she was eating bacon while while right. she came on to the interview, <laughs> and, and, and it was a thick cut, and we were like saying, "Did you send us any so we could just be like." <laughs> That, with that, you, that, right. that was that was Bridget. That was Bridget, Bridget from Chicago. Bridget, her Jesse Campbell's sister. Oh, I love her. I, I do too. Bridget <laughs> was eating her her bacon, and he called it out. He always called oh it out. Oh my god, yeah. I haven't seen her in a minute. She's doing well. She has some good music doing really well on the charts. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, that's awesome. Well, so what I've been doing mm -hmm. is. Um, I've been, as you can see, I've been working on some music yes. and put out this Christmas song. Yes. Um, that just came out this year and on 12 new music and it was produced by Cordell Walton, who's my producer, who's my record company mm -hmm. and all of that. And I wrote it and my boy, Aubrey Swan wrote it. So... And you That's did a special. You did a you did a special. Let's talk about that Christmas special that you and Pam and Dodie was on. Wait a minute, before, yes! but before you do that, I want to know, um, uh, uh, are you clapping back on folks? No, because she's like, no, said, let I'm me not. let me tell you, and I was like, <laughs> no. I said, is she talking in rhythm or is she clapping back? Like, listen here, boo boo. I, I, I use my hands a lot. I do I too. Talk. Yes. <laughs> see, 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 I think that's good because the that's next rhythm, time I, she's rhythm nation. The, next time right. I see you, next time I see you in backstage, right. I, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be way far off. We're gonna be clapping. We're gonna be clapping. How you <laughs> doing this morning? How you but, doing? But everybody, everybody gonna be far off. I'm gonna be over there like I'm saying. Let me interpret what she's saying. When you start clapping, my saying she's like, listen here, boo boo. <laughs> if you don't get my mic set and clean that with some Clorox, then we oh. ain't gonna. <laughs> we ain't doing it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I have When that. I say I love how much fun y'all have, y'all started off with a bunch of fun. I love this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <Man. laughs> 
So, Robert, let, let's talk about that Christmas special because I had a chance to watch it. The Christmas special, it was on the Michigan Chronicle, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the uh, newspaper here in Detroit. Mm -hmm. They were the one that put the uh, the show on, as well as my company. Uh, my record company was a partnership in that as well. We're mm -hmm. putting this Christmas production on. And we used a lot of local Detroit yes. artists. That was great. That we were able to feature. Mm -hmm. And that's awesome because we as local artists and, you know, your main city, we don't get to be on those platforms a lot, you know. Right. So it was just a blessing to be able to showcase people from Detroit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I agree. <laughs> I agree. And a lot of times we think out is better. And I think we do it sometimes for ratings and all that good stuff. But yeah. it was mm -hmm. wonderful to see the talent because Detroit has always been known for talent. But these were yes, some of the yeah. more newer up and coming yeah. ones that we're not that familiar yeah. with. Yeah. And all those artists, they have projects out as well. So that was that was a good platform to be able to showcase their music that right. they have out. You know, that, right. like you say, on uh, not be on the major radio station, but, you right. know, that right. that's a chance for them to be heard as well. And just to be able to sing with Pam again, I was like, ah! <laughs> yes, if people don't know, but she and um, um, Pam were once on what label? MCA. MCA, MCA a big label, and um, yeah. th they've always been known as a double duo. They've done background work for the Clark Sisters, and, and let's yeah. name some of the people that you guys have worked with. Oh my God, wow. Karen Clark Shear, mm -hmm. Dorinda, mm -hmm. uh, Clark Cole. Um, I did more background singing than Pam did. Right. So, so <laughs> let, let's name some of those people. So I want people to see the work that you've put in over the years. Um, I worked with Chaka Khan, Neo, uh, Amp Fiddler, Uncle Charlie. Uh, this is Vanessa, uh, Vanessa Bell. But my longest time was traveling with Uncle Charlie. I've actually started out with the Gap Band, and then. It transitioned to Charlie Wilson because I, I was with him for about six years. Wow. Six years. How yep. was the experience? What were some of the places that you had a chance to go to? Oh, if you want to say 50 states, basically we traveled almost 50 states. <laughs> and then as well as out the country, one story I have to, I have to say is we went to Japan. I went to Japan with, um, Charlie Wilson. Wow. And there was a there was a a, a, um, a fan that was there, and he came backstage and brought me my Pam and Dodie CD. What? And he was like, I remember you from Pam and Dodie. I'm like, Are you serious? Yes. All the way in Japan, I could not cause he, cause they we did two shows there, and he came back the next day and brought me my Pam and Dodie CD. He was like, "Please sign this." Wow. I was like, "Oh, do, do you see this?" He's like, "Yeah, you a star more <laughs> Right, but that that's amazing. Yes, so, that was awesome when he. I mean, he came back to the show literally. He bought tickets and came to the show just to the see very you. next day. Mm -hmm. So, so let, let me sign that. let me ask you this and all your celebrity status. Um, uh, Miss <laughs> Shauna D said that she's here. Uh, she hey, Shauna, that's so, my girl. Yes, Shauna is our that's our girl. Together. Yes. Yeah. So, so I want to ask the question. Do you remember that time that I met you backstage and I walked up to you and I said I stuck my hand out and I and you just looked at it and I said you're gonna make my hand fall off. Did I do that to you? No, I didn't don't, do that don't, to you. Dodie, you don't Dodie, remember? Don't, Dodie, don't, don't you go it, for the dope. It, it was Lady <laughs> Sang the Blues all over again. Don't, I had a hat on, Dodie, a trench coat, and don't, it was in the summertime. Dodie, don't buy, oh don't buy into that. She, she sat there and she paused like. <laughs> she said, I've met so many people. Out here. Right. <laughs> so let me ask you this question. Everybody knows that you can sing yes. and that you're going to be amazing yes. and you are amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you. We want to kind of, I'm going to ask the question. Is okay. there ever a chance that uh -huh. we can get a reunion uh, uh, of that P&D? Well, there is a great, great possibility. What's so crazy is I just had a conversation with actually all the girls, we all just talked literally 
like about two, three days ago about mm-hmm. talking about something. So ugh, it's it's a possibility that we may get just something of us coming together, just doing something. So let me ask you this. Can I, I'm going to give you a, a, a strategy. You get okay. that? A strategy. Oh, give me, give me the strategy. Okay. <laughs> we, we, we're going to get 50 stations. And okay. you and, and together, and we will tour. We'll start the tour off by you touring to each station, you know, wow. the girls, and that'll be the promotional tour to lead up to the big tour. Wow! But which girls are you talking about? Are you talking about adoration and praise? Because let's go back. People don't know that she was in a group with Demita Hatton and her twin, and Pam and Doty. They were adoration and praise. Because Aaron Lindsay talked about it. He was the producer yeah. for that project back <laughs> in the day. That's actually where I that's actually where I started from. I started with the group Adoration and Praise. Amazing. Which was Demita, Margarita, <laughs> Pam Taylor, and myself. Yeah. And there's a the other girl named Sean Graham. I was the I replaced Sean Graham. Mm-hmm. So I'm not an original member. Right. But I am uh they they accepted me so well. They was the killer part is um, when I auditioned for them. I was coming to Detroit. Me and Demita were singing next to each other uh, uh, with some choir thing for for a movie. Mm-hmm. And she was like, "Girl, you can sing." And I'm like, "Thank <laughs> you." She was like, "We got you know my group. We looking for another member." And I'm like, "Okay." So she was like, "I want you to audition." And I'm like, "Okay." So I'm. Go ride to Detroit because I'm originally from Lansing, Michigan. Mm-hmm. Really? Johnson. Really? <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. I'm not from Detroit. I'm from Lansing, Michigan. I didn't know that. Yeah. And uh, which is, you know, about an hour and a half away. Right. So I auditioned. I was on my way to Detroit to audition with the girls and my car broke down. Oh, wow. So I was like, my car broke down. So <laughs> I called them. They was like, just audition over the phone. I said, okay. So I sung Faith by Vanessa Bell Armstrong. I have the faith. And yeah. they was like, can you go to Norfolk, Virginia Saturday? I said, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. it was a wrap ever since. Okay, so I'm going to ask this question. Mm-hmm. When you met Demita and Margarita, uh, uh-huh. did you laugh? No! He talking about the name. <laughs> he talking about the name. Because when I heard it, when I heard it, I was like, Boy, <laughs> Demita and Margarita, boy, all but, day but long. The time, twins you know used to be what? named. Wait till I tell them. Wait till I tell them. Right. <laughs> but twins used to be named names that rhyme back in those days. Wait, so my question is, I didn't know Demita was a twin. She's identical twin. She's really? a twin. Yes, yeah. identical. She is a twin. Okay. So who? She so Demita, Demita was like, I'm happy with my name. Margarita was like, said, my mama was out there. You know. <laughs> no. No, because they both rhyme. So I, I, I get it. Now, I, I get it too. Yeah. Now, I didn't now, know that they were twins. How did you start? Yep, in, they're twins. How did you start in music, period? Because nobody ever really knows where you started. We just saw you everywhere. I started singing as, uh, as an early age. And um, I grew up singing. My mother, she was the choir director. I was nine years old in the a teenage choir where it started at 15 mm-hmm. because I had a big mouth. You can sing. <laughs> uh huh. So my mama was like, you're going to be in this choir and uh, uh, you're going to be singing with us. So all the teenagers, they just accepted me as a nine-year-old singing in the choir because my mother was the choir director. So my mama played. She played. God didn't bless me with that gift. Right. I can play drums a little bit. I can get you through a church service. All right. (laughs) So so you must grow up. What church did you grow up in? I grew up. I grew up Koji. I, I know you up, did because you playing drums <laughs> and singing and usher board and um, a, a pastor's aide. Yeah, I sure We had to work. We had to do everything. <laughs> so uh, first of all, I want you to know that Lamar Skills said, "Hey, Dodie." Hey, Lamar. She know all <laughs> I people. Know. So, so one one of the things about it is that um, just real talk. You have mm-hmm. such an infectious personality. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you seem like you're everybody's home girl that they want to get connected with. I am. I, tell, I am. Tell I us am. about your current life. You know, married, single, ten kids. You know, tell t- tell us <laughs> tell us about your life right now. I am not married. I'm single. Okay. All right, gentlemen. 
in prospect. In pro <laughs> Amanda, find if the wife no, finds a good thing. Married. Go, gentlemen. <laughs> I don't have any children. Um, I, I do want to get married one day. That mm -hmm. is my desire. I've always desired to be married. Mm -hmm. um, I, I did desire to have children. Um, mm -hmm. It just hasn't happened yet. So I'm still open to that, to one day that happening. So so what yeah. are you, if, if you were to give a, a five-point checklist of what you, what you want your, 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 your future mate to be, not that you're looking because they got to find uh -huh. you, but if you were to put out there, because you know it said, write the vision and make it plain. Right. Um, right. Write your vision <laughs> right now for all the brothers that are listening in and be like, what, she single? You know, <laughs> what would your vision I be? Want, I want a person, first of all, that loves God. I, lo I Because I do have a bubbly personality, mm -hmm. um, I do want a person that I can laugh with, that we can have fun, loyalty, trustworthy, um... You ain't got to be a millionaire, but, you know. But have but, some money. But, but have yeah, some money there. Secure, I want, I have some want money there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, can I throw some things in there for you? So he got to have at least a credit score about uh, 750, right? <laughs> and, and my question is, how tall does he need to be? You know what? Uh, I'm not really a picky person. Now, that, uh, now see, I'm he, trying to he, tell he, you. He, you gotta let the Lord Dodie, know. He can't be five what, what, for you. Yeah, because you you gotta let the Lord I, know I, what you I, want. I, at least I I want a I want a man that wants to love me. Okay, so he could be five too. Or he could be a midget. I, no, I want a midget. Okay, well, see, <laughs> you better be. You better, you better you better make your request. Because you made no. Come on. <laughs> you know, cause you get you you gonna get a snag or two. Right. Uh, short brother, come up there. You gonna say, but I love you and the Lord. <laughs> I don't want a midget. If I happen to be a little taller than him, that's okay. He just got to be able to, to, to be able to be secure right. for the woman because I'm going to wear my heels. I'm going to wear my heels. Uh -huh. And I'm going to, you know, I, I don't want to be way over towering him. But if I have to look down and say, hey, baby, I, I can say hey. Right. Uh, see, 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 Donnie, we're we, we, we going to need you to uh, lift up the bar a little bit. Right. Because we don't want everybody. Well, wait a minute. See, see, I didn't have, a, uh, I didn't have my share of knuckleheads. So now. <laughs> I'm past the, uh, you know, I want somebody who's going to love me. Right. Yeah. Love me for me. Accept me for me. Because I, I ain't perfect, but, you know, I, I yeah. want somebody who, who's going to love She's me. She's striving. Yeah, and, and, and I hear you on yes. that because I tell you, um, uh, I, I specifically <clears throat> told the Lord what, mm -hmm. what, what I wanted in my wife. Yeah. And, and he got it all the way down to, he, he answered my prayers all the way down to the height, the hair. Uh, uh, the color, the personality, and, uh -huh. and she's so sweet, but she ain't no punk. You know, that's what I pray for. I yeah, need somebody. I don't want no punk either. See, I don't they, want no punk either. Amen. I don't want no punk. Yeah. I want them to fight for me. I want them to, 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 to stand up for me. I don't know. I don't want no punk. There you go. <laughs> so, so one of the things about it is that you're, you're traveling, <laughs> um, you, you, you traveled a tremendous amount. During the COVID, how has that affected you? What have you been doing with your time? Well, it I will say, especially because I, I wasn't doing Zoom and stuff like that. It, it has it has opened me up to trying new things. It has opened my mindset up to uh, because you know I was I was a, a hands on person. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not really too tech savvy, right. <laughs> as you can tell today. Me neither, <laughs> sis. So um, it's. It is it is broadening my horizons on being able to learn this technology more because you know I was the person I go in there write do what I got to do sing and I leave the technology to other people mm -hmm. but now it has put me into a position where I got to learn this stuff with green screens and 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 learning how to edit and all that stuff I'm like ah Jesus take the wheel mm -hmm. right <laughs> so, so um, with traveling. Um, because I have, that's all I've been doing is traveling. Mm -hmm. It has, it has, it's a blessing to be able to just be able to take a minute and just sit down and take a minute and relax mm -hmm. that I have enjoyed, but I am missing the road. I'm missing, I'm missing. I'm, I'm a, I'm a personable person. I, I mm -hmm. like, I like touching. I like hugging mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. So I am missing that. I'm missing to be able to, when I run into somebody that I can grab them and hug them. Mm -hmm. Um, that's the downside of it. 
So let me ask you this question. You are an artist, you're on a label, but you're also an extraordinary writer. If you had a up and coming um, artist or even an established artist, how do they connect with you and how do you select who you'll write with or for? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Um, first of all, actually, even with COVID is even affecting that to be able to, to be able to talk with people even more. So now you got to up the ante on being able to discern with a person's personality mm -hmm. on, you know, that comfortability on being able to write with them and, 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 tr and have them trust what it is that outside of doing music for myself, that they can trust um, what they're going to get from me with writing with other people, because um, I, I have been branching into that as far as writing with other artists and, and, um, you know, getting in that thing with writing with other people to get some some records on the charts. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right. So. Now, you have you had any of your music placed on a national recording? Because as a writer, you want your music to be placed so it can get some spins, so you can get royalties. Yeah. That, that's business. Yeah. I'm just getting into writing more. Okay. Um, I was actually scared to write at first because I was like, people ain't going to want to hear what I'm saying. All right, they Karen. Wanna... All right, Karen Clark Sheard. <laughs> I was, but now when I say I love painting the picture, I love seeing the picture be created from the very beginning to yes. it. The story may not even have to be necessarily related to your life, but if you can paint a picture and take somebody on a journey and to see what the end is going to be, I love the, 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 I love seeing that process work. And it'll affect somebody else. Even if it's not about yes. you, when you yes. put it out, Somebody has lived through what you're talking yes. about somewhere. Yes. Yes. I literally have a ton of songs in the computer right now with me and my producer, Cordell Walton. We have a ton of songs. I mean, I at least have 50 songs. Okay. Really? At least. Yes. So. That uh, I've sung, wrote, produced. I, 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 if you need a song. I do. Okay. <laughs> We have some, even even if we have some that we have started that, you know, that can still be birthed into something. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm, I'm loving that this process. You got to get them placed. You got to send yes. them out. You, you Start yes. with your Detroit folk. Yeah, I do. I do have a song on Beth because uh, I write R&B yes. and gospel. Yes, yes. Um, um, Beth, she was on The Voice. Uh, she was a contestant on The Voice. I have th uh Three songs on her. I'm currently working on her mm -hmm. project with her as well. Good. Um, I did some writing with um, Vicky Winans with Tim Bowman. Wow. Um, so you know, it's it. I, I got I got a little bit. <laughs> so, so I got two questions left in my yes, arsenal sir. before we have to go. First of all, uh, uh, <laughs> Miss Fashion Plate, Miss you know uh, Head Turner. How is it that you are still look as young as you did back in the day when it was just Pam and Dolly. What's your secret? What, what's, what's been going on with that? Well, um, God, God bless me with some good genes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, um, I work at it. I, I work out. I, um, sometimes I, I, I fluctuate with my consistency mm -hmm. on, you know, you, you, you work real hard at it and then you, you fall off and then you mm -hmm. work real hard at it. So I guess that's been <clears throat> leveling out to where it can, it, it can keep me still looking like I'm looking. I, I like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I like roller skating. Mm -hmm. I like going to the gym. Uh, you know, I like doing all of that fun stuff. I like uh, going on my bike. I rode my bike a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I actually ended up having COVID. Really? So COVID caused me to lose actually 50 pounds. Wow. Wow. Because I had, uh, I dealt with some real challenging after effects mm -hmm. when I, uh, contracted COVID. So it had to where I couldn't eat. I couldn't drink nothing but water 
all I could eat was watermelon and like peanut butter jelly sandwich and chicken. I could eat chicken. Gospel bird, praise the Lord. A gospel bird, those were the three things that I could eat. Everything else made me feel this heaviness on me that <clears throat> I couldn't bear. And it caused it to where I had to do physical therapy. I couldn't wear hair in my head. I couldn't, my balance was off. And it lasted for about six months. Wow, wow. About six months. So, so, so we're looking at a, a miracle right here. Yes, you are looking at a miracle right now. So, a miracle. Are you going to write a song about it? I am actually going to be doing some some storytelling of my life of being mm. through my healing of COVID. Amen. Because it, the the after effects had me in a position to where I was like, "Am I going to recover from this? Am I going to be able to regain my balance? Yes. Am I going to be able to? Because I couldn't even sit in a regular chair that I'm sitting in. I had to sit in a lawn chair Jesus. that was that was slanted." Mm. Because my balance was so <clears throat> off. Mm. And I was like, Lord, I don't want to have to live the rest of my life like this. Yes, come on. But I was like I said, if I have to live my life like this, Lord, please give me a place where I can still be able to sing. Because I couldn't even sing Jesus. like when I was going through that. And it was it's so crazy. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, I'm going blank. The the gentleman where uh, his the the gentleman where they had the funeral and they 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 showed it nationwide. Um, uh, um, you Floyd, about George Floyd, Floyd, George Floyd, Floyd, Floyd. And what is it? Uh, is it N Nikita, 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 Nikita Fox? Yeah. Nikita Fox. When I tell you she was on there singing. What is it? Uh, uh, Richard Smallwood song was that yeah. Richard Smallwood song she was singing? Uh, uh it was Rodney. It was um, Kirk, it was Kirk Rodney. Kirk it was Kirk Rodney. Po I think it was Rodney Posey. It was uh, Rodney for Posey we song. offer praise. We offer yes. praise. Yes. When I tell you when she was singing that, and tears was just literally Jesus. falling from my eyes, and I was like, Lord, please get me back to that place. Get me back to that place where I can sing because the way she was just rocking back and forth and when I was going through, <clears throat> through my healing process with COVID yeah I was like God I'm so dizzy I'm so dizzy I, I just want to be because I'm very I'm, I, I move a lot when I sing and I said God please take me there and now I'm getting back to that place now where I can move around and I can raise my hand and I can just just be crazy for God and Come I'm on. like God I thank you but taking me back to that place. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So, look, God. look at look at look at God. That's look a, she, at God. God. She, she is she is a miracle. Uh, okay, so, yes, so I, am a miracle. I got I got a reprimand you. I got to reprimand you. Okay. Uh, okay. Cause if you would have started off with that, we might uh -huh. not have, we might not have made it through the interview. Come we might have we oh, might have been like, all out. I was ready to strike you know, it up. I was ready to strike it up. Yeah. Yes. Be, 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 because that is such an amazing Powerful. testimony, yes. and sister, yes. we got We're gonna add you to our continued prayer. Yes, yes. Um, you Me are too. an amazing, amazing person. Yes, Robert has wore my last nerves oh. out with waiting for this interview. Cause and our program said, director, remember, I, t I put you on the phone with the program director. <laughs> yes, you yes. did. Yes, when I tell yes. you, I thank you, Robert, for you have been a blessing to you. You have been encouragement to me because I haven't done a recording in a while. I was just singing at church. I, I'm actually the praise and worship leader at Living Waters Church, Pastor Jay Moss. Jay Moss is my pastor. Right. All right. right. Yes. Right. And um, so just, you know, just not getting back into the recording process again it has been a blessing and just to let you know you have been an encouragement to me i stay on her y'all you know year yeah, after year <laughs> year after year i've been staying on her for my years my friends lashana all of them yes. my friends my yes. friends they, my church family my friends yes. my friends here in detroit they stay on me so i i am on this road to not look back no, <laughs> God has great things ahead. And, and, and don't forget your brother, yes. Dr. LT. But remember backstage, held hand out, said, you're going to let my yes, hand Yes, Dr. LT, when I said, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> never, I'm never going to forget that. Right. 
<laughs> don't, don't believe that. You you didn't do that, sis. I would be looking. I would be like, where he at? Right. <laughs> where that when, when we get to the Stella Awards in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Come on, now. We speaking yeah. that. Yes, well, and and you know one of the things about it, we we go every year to the Stella Awards, and this mm-hmm. this coming year, if we're able to do it live, uh, we got a okay. whole new suite coming that's going to just mess folks up. Yes, with with the Come TV on, show and everything. Man. Yes, so we just want to let you know that you are family. Yes, uh, uh, as Robert said, he don't like everybody. But, I don't, but but he do like you, and he does call you his sister. <laughs> and uh, yeah. we we um want to know and i want to make sure robert you ask your, your famous world famous question okay this is my world famous question sis okay okay if i gave you two million dollars and i said you can have anybody you want in the dodi alexander presents concert they could be dead or alive who would your setup be who would your show be wow <laughs> I, I can have two people? You can have as many as you want. I'll give you you, got, $2, million. you got $2 million, so you get to use your budget you the way you want to. Use your budget the way you want to. It's going to be you presenting oh, your concert. Okay, okay, okay. Your okay, own okay, concert. Okay. Oh, wow. Can I think on it and then text it? <laughs> well, girl, we're on, sh- we on a live show. <laughs> She said, hold can up, she, wait a minute. Can can she, y'all, she said, y'all, she said, can she text it and we're on a live show and y'all going to be gone. Well, well, she, well, she said, she said, she said, let me pray on it and I, I'll submit my request. We, Your you, prayer already came for us. Well, Speak well, well, Robert, she just said, when well, you said $2 million, she just said, oh, yeah, I know my brother got it. So let me make sure that I put the right proposal in. You know what I'm saying? He going to call people from right. the heavenlies of the heavens right. to come down. Right. And, and they could they be dead or alive. And this would be your concert that you sponsored. Wow. I, oh, I love everybody. Well, I, I definitely would have to have my idol singer, Tremaine Hawk. Shut up. That's your favorite. I, th- I was gonna, thought you were going to say Aretha. When I say she's my idol. I thought you were going to say Aretha because she's Detroit or Michigan. N- no. Oh, Tremaine Hawkins. My God. I up. sung everything Tremaine. Me Every, everything up. was Tremaine. Yes, Hall. me growing up was Tremaine. Hold on, let me call up and get on the phone. So that you can... <laughs> so, so we, we, we uh, don't, don't I love Tremaine too. We're we going to set that up for y'all to talk. You know, uh, maybe get y'all back on a uh, a hero Are show. Are serious? Don't, don't get me. Are you serious? I, I, we ain't playing Robert Tuck. We, t- we, we, can, we, can, we can work on that. Tremaine is very, yeah. she's durable. She's right up the street in Oakland, Are California. Are serious? We serious. Oh, my God. You know, oh since we, my don't you we, know Robert Aldean's the Wikipedia gospel? His Rolodex is worth this. We can we can oh get her. We just had Stacy Lattice on here, and you know she. I love her too. She was here. She did our show. We interviewed her Friday. She's a child star, you know, and we got her. I well, love her. Well, one of the things that we love about what we do as yes. interviewing is that we really want people to get to know you. Yes. Um, and yes. to see your personality and mm-hmm. and literally just get to see you as a human being mm-hmm. because that's yes. when they connect with you right. um, as yeah. an artist. Now, can you introduce this lovely song this that Christmas you have, song. this yes. Christmas song, uh, so that I can let the folks go on in, you know. In yes, Jesus let them go and, and how can they and follow you? How? Huh? How can your fans and people that are just hearing about you, how can they follow you on they social media? They can follow me on Doty Music. Um, to tell you the truth, Doty is a nickname. Audra is, Aud, my real name is Audra, Audra Alexander. Alexander. Right. Doty is a nickname. Right. That I grew up with ever since I was a toddler. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who gave it to but you? My, my Christmas song is um, called My Christmas. It was produced by my producer, Cordell Walton. Off of 12 New Music, and uh, it's on all social media platforms everywhere Amazon, iTunes, uh, uh, Google, uh, just just buy it. And right. I'm, my, 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 my music video is on YouTube as well. Mm-hmm. So it's it actually, I think this is this music um, song has been a great support. I've been getting a lot of support on this song. But because of what we're going through, the times that we're going mm-hmm. through, I wanted to bring a happiness to the, to the world mm-hmm. right now. I wanted to bring something joyous to the people where they can feel like that they can laugh and smile. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, I, I because the world is in such chaotic right now. Yes. So I just wanted to bring joy to them right now. Yes. So that's how that song came about. Well, here so, we go. This is our premiere yes. of this fabulous song by, say your name again, your full name, your government name. 
Audra Doty Alexander. Audra Doty Alexander. Alexander. The song is called My Christmas right here on G-O-D Radio. One dot com. Fella. 